AZAM is back. Well, this is a pretty cool idea. You've heard of charcuterie boards, obviously. You probably love them at home. What about a barcuterie board? Carmen is live this morning. And that little pooch, Carmen, was eyeing those sausages or snacks, whatever was on that board, like <laughs> nothing else. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, meet Lois. She's eight years old here at the Arizona uh, Animal Welfare League, and she's also up for adoption. Right? She is. Right, Katie? Tell us. She is available. She's one of our longer, long timers. She's been with us a couple months. She came to us from one of our rural rescue partners. Lois is adorable and mellow. At eight years old, yeah, you know, you don't have that puppy energy, that training that you need to work Absolutely. on. She's actually already potty trained. Perfect. And her adoption fee is sponsored thanks to Chapman awesome. BMW. Good. We want to find her a home, but Absolutely. we also want to give her some really good treats because she deserves them. So tell us what we're making here today. Barcuterie boards. Yes. This is a new trend that we're seeing on uh, social media, especially Instagram. And tell us what all this is about. Totally. Well, as you know, wine and boards, meat and cheese boards <laughs> is the best date night. Right. But for me, my furry friends are my favorite date. Yes. So putting together something a little different than their usual meal time, we put together a uh -huh. barcuterie board. This is so cute. Yes. And so get all their favorite <laughs> treats especially I like to start with their kibble these are you know low calorie it's something they already know and love and is good for their uh -huh. tummy and it adds some fun texture to your board and then you can go through pick out all sorts of things we've got you know little milk, milk bones. bones we can do little puffies all sorts Dog of cute puffs. things puffs for dogs because yes. my, my son is already kind of nibbling on those a little bit. Yes. There's some for dogs. I love exactly, it. Exactly, because okay. there are babies too. Mm -hmm. And so we like oh, to just mix and match so all their favorite things. And then you can even look in your cupboard. What do you have that are human foods that dogs like too, such as peanut butter, maybe a little apple. Yeah. Making sure, you know, you don't do anything too fatty, anything too hard on their tummies. Mm -hmm. But this kind of stuff is perfect for them. For them. And how adorable. This is so cute. I see why it's gotten so popular too. Yes. And it's really easy to do. Absolutely. Uh, whenever you're having uh, friends or family over. Um, you can also give something to the dogs too as yes, well. Yes, set we it up, this. be the hostess with the mostess. Your dogs will appreciate it and love it for yes, sure. And Lois is going to appreciate some too. Lois, give her some? absolutely. Give her Come some. here, sweetie. What's She's you just it? adorable. I'm on, no. Oh, it's so there good. Go. Yes. Oh, and she's eight years old, so well behaved. Yes. You guys, there you go. Barcuterie boards. Um, like Katie said, super easy to make and um, cheap too. Just find some stuff in the cabinet. Absolutely. Some treats. <laughs> there you go. So protect that board, Carmen. You'll have know, to protect the board because I think <laughs> she's going to jump. <laughs> I'm gonna guard it from her. <laughs> she's gonna be jumping up. She's Aww. a cutie. Pie. I know she smells all the oh, goodies. So oh, sweet, oh, Lord, Carmen. Thank you. Ate off the whole oh. hand. <laughs>